okay in this video we will talk about docker okay so as most of us locked in our in our house because of this coronavirus pandemic right so i was thinking like i will just try to do something new which not only interesting but it will it will add some values as well okay so that's why i was thinking like i will just start a new playlist on docker we will see from from very basics to advanced level how docker works how we can install splunk in dockers and other stuff okay so hopefully it will be useful and and we'll see how how it goes okay so so what is docker so if i if i just talk about in very very simplistic term so docker is a platform for developers and sysadmins to build run share applications with containers now here the only one thing we need to understand is what is what do we mean by containers okay so container is is not a new technology it it was there uh, but there is a another term we need to understand before we understand container so there are couple of things we will see today is virtualization this is a, some technology and containerization as well so before containerization virtualization was the way to go for for running for serving different purposes okay for virtualizing and and basically creating separate separate guest operating system different operating system on a particular operating system as well so it is basically operating system wise virtualization but after containerization came it actually changed the whole dynamics of the systems okay so we will try to see how how this two concepts works before we understand docker okay so and we'll try to see where docker fits in over here as well so if we just start with virtualization so as i said it's a separate technology compared to containerization so here what happens is suppose we have our existing hardware infrastructure right now if you see it over here on that infrastructure we we have a layer called hypervisor then we have couple of guest os which is running in in parallel right which we are talking about guest and each each and every guest os is running their own own apps right so we we, we call all of this together is a virtual machine right now and if you see it over here so we have a guest operating system and this guest operating system is basically interacting with this existing hardware infrastructure using a hypervisor okay now what do we mean by a hypervisor so hypervisor is a virtual machine monitor it's basically a piece of code you can say or firmware layer that enables multiple operating system to run side by side all with access to the same physical server resources okay so here what we are doing you are basically running a different operating systems side by side right and and one of this operating system could be windows another could be linux something like that right so so basically but we have a single physical server over here over there we are running multiple different operating systems right so that's the code concept behind virtualization right so that means the virtualizations and hypervisors make it possible to run what appear to be multiple computers with multiple different operating system on the same hardware of a single physical server okay so that's the concept behind virtualization now let us uh, take a look about containerization so in containerization if you see the diagram over here so we still have the existing hardware infrastructure and then over there we have a single host os if you see that that operating system layer is not there now instead of that we have a single host os and on that host os we have a containerization platform okay and we have a separate separate container which is basically different different apps right so if you see it over here so we are basically having a single host operating system and we are running a separate separate container on that on that host okay so if i just see it 
the container shares the kernel of the host os with other containers and the shared part of the os is read only okay so basically if you see it over here if you just divide the resources of this whole host operating system into multiple chunks and each and every chunk you are basically assigning you are basically using that particular chunk to run a particular application okay it, it is nothing but a container over there okay so all these containers basically shares the kernel of the host operating system that's the that's the key point over here okay now each and every container is basically a process okay so it's it takes no more memory than a, than any other executable so that's why it is very lightweight okay and we can deploy multiple containers on a single server or even you can deploy the container in virtual machines as well right so over here we do not have a multiple operating system but each and every container follows the file structure or operate or system structure as as linux file structure only okay we'll see like how how the container works in 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 future videos and each container interacts with its own private file systems this file system is provided by a containerization platform okay so this this platform here the logic of containerization is exist okay so if you see it over here compared to compared to virtualization so if i just do a comparative study over here so containerization when it switch will so containerization enables us to deploy multiple applications using the same operating system on a single virtual machine or server okay so here we are basically deploying a multiple application even like as i said we'll we'll see in future videos how we can install splunk right so through containerization as each and every container is a separate process right so we can run multiple versions of splunk as well using different different containers okay we'll see that one in future videos as well now virtualization on the contrary virtualization enables us to run multiple operating systems on the hardware of a single physical server so in virtualization basically we are using a separate we are basically creating a separate operating system on a on a single physical server right now as containerization is uses the kernel right the same kernel all all this containerization so each and every container has a dependency on the kernel itself okay so it may happen that one container which is basically built on windows it may not work properly on the linux kernel as well linux when you are basically trying to port it to a linux server it may not work properly so there is a, there is a dependency on the underlying host operating system over there okay now containers are better choice when you your biggest priority is to minimize the number of servers you are using for a multiple applications right so here basically we we in a single server itself we are basically containerizing say, set of apps over here right now virtual machines are great for supporting application that required an operating systems full functionality right when you want to deploy multiple applications on a server or when you have a wide variety of operating system to manage right so hopefully we get a better idea about what containerization and what virtualization means right now where docker fits in so docker is nothing but this containerization platform okay so it, it, it it's an project right so it's it's a basically company which which basically gives us this containerization platform so using docker you can deploy build your app and share your app using 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 containers okay we'll see in it its architecture as well in future videos in very de in very detail in this video we'll just take an idea about what what docker is and where it fits in and how to install docker as well we'll see that in in today okay so let's let's set up docker in windows environment first then we'll move to linux now to set up docker in windows what you need to do is we need to go to docker website i'll be giving this website link in my video description as well so don't worry about that so we'll be clicking on this this get docker link over here so it will give you the docker desktop link for mac for windows and linux so in this video we will try to 
install it in my windows only then we will see in next video how to set up in linux as well i do not have access to mac otherwise i would have done that one as well but we'll definitely see how to set up docker in linux as well okay so we just need to download it and after download you it, it's it will be it will be an exe file so it is really easy to set it up you just need to follow the wizard over there so it's a huge file around 900 mb so i'll just show you a couple of screenshots so here is couple of screenshot you will be having so whenever you will be trying to install this docker from the from the exe file so you need to have you need to enable the required windows features and add shortcut so this is fine now this is important over here enable required windows feature what does this mean so before you install docker in windows there are two things you need to verify okay uh, let me show you that one the first thing is you need to search over here turn on windows feature on or off okay so when you search that one there is an option called hyper v you need to check that one and it 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 it's, it's requires uh, windows restart so that you have to do otherwise docker will not work properly so this is the first thing you have to check whether this is there or not if it is there it has to be checked okay now now docker also required your bios level virtualization enabled as well okay so to check that one what you can do is go to your task manager go to your performance tab okay here if you see it over here this virtualization this has to be enabled over here so these two things you have to check at least these two things has to be there before you go ahead and install docker in your windows okay now there are certain system level requirement as well so i'll be giving that link over there so you just check it out from there but these two things are mandatory over there okay so let us go back to our ppt and see the screenshots okay so now so when you click on next so this this will this will basically install some of the files in docker and once it is done it it will give you this particular one called close and restart so that means it you have to restart again okay so once docker is restarted right so it will it will come up something like this one over here if you see it docker desktop is running okay and if you want to check it out whether you have successfully installed docker or not so go to your command prompt okay now from here you just run a command called docker dash dash version okay so if it's everything is fine it will give you the version of the docker it is running even you can run a image as well so docker image is nothing but the packaged application the container over there okay so you can say docker run so there is a default image docker provides okay hello world so that that also you can run so if if this hello world image is not present in your system it will download from the github and it will it will do that one it will run that one and you should be getting this kind of message over here hello from docker okay so if it is you are getting that means this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly okay now as i said now to to just list down different docker image so you can do that one as well docker image ls okay list so it will show you the list of images you have currently so currently i only have hello world so in future we will be having more images in our system okay and as i said each and every image is nothing but a process over there right so you can you can list down those process as well over here ps all using this this command so currently i am i was running this three hello world container so it was listing out all this process over here okay so hopefully we got a fair idea about what docker is where it fits in in from next videos we will try to see some more stuff about docker okay so hopefully this this video is helpful let me know how how it feels about this how you feel about this new playlist okay see you in next video